Um, yeah, and I usually just do oh. random stages because it doesn't matter too much. Like, yeah, uh, no worries. You want to start directly, or do you want to warm up first? No, no, I'm I'm good to go whenever. All right. Versus Mark. Ready. Good luck, have fun.
Yeah. Yes, corn. Yes. Um, yeah. Did you have any any thoughts about that set? Hmm. If you don't, that's I... fine too. <laughs> No, I'm I, I'm thinking about it. I think I'm struggling the most if you don't approach it. I would say, or <laughs> yeah, if you don't attack with me, or yeah, I would say if you don't approach. So if you're approaching with laser, I've not. Uh, I'm feeling really comfortable. Yeah. But if you're just staying away, especially on FD, when I where I have no platforms, it's really hard for me. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So um, if we just go into game quickly, let's go on um, FD. Um, I, we can talk through a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, if you just uh, press start and try and go to FD. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, yeah, so I think there was a couple things I was abusing. So it felt like the first thing was, um, the only way you were trying to, like, move forward was by jumping at me. So, mm -hmm. like, we would be at this sort of range, and say I would laser, and you try and, like, take it in some way or shield it and then jump forward. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that made it, like, pretty, like, easy for me to know when you're going to come in. So I would okay. just do this, and then I'd sort of wait for you to jump, and mm -hmm. then I'd play, like, a mix-up on your landing. Um, I see. and I think there's, like, other moths do that, and it works a bit better, and I think it's because there's sort of, like, two things I feel like you're missing. So the first one is take laser fair when you're in the air. I'm sure mm -hmm. you've seen, like, Zane do that, right? Of course. Yeah, and I feel like you're a bit better at, like, double jumping in those spots rather than um, fairing. So I think getting good at that would really help in some of these situations. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second thing was, like, every time you did land from that position, you would always dash back. And so what would happen I'd is, see, yeah. like, like, I would laser you here and you jump, and then I'd just do this, and then I'd be on mm -hmm. top of you. Um and it's like, when you say you're comfortable with like me when I'm approaching with laser, it's probably when we're at this sort of range, and I just yeah, this, I, right? I can I can see that, yeah. Yeah. Especially at this range, and I also like it more to uh, take laser fair here. Yeah, yeah, but what I was really doing was sort of like letting you get a bit close to me first, and in a bit of a bad spot, mm -hmm. and then I would go for it. And I felt like in that situation, that was when you didn't have too good of an answer to it. So, there's a couple things you can do. So, when you land, you could land and then, like, up tilt, for example. Okay. Um, so like this? Uh, yeah, Take yeah. laser and up tilt? Yeah, so, so you'd, like, land on the ground. Or it would sometimes be, like, after you whiffed an aerial as well. Like, if you just whiffed a fair, I would just okay. do that. And if you try doing that... Yeah, so you oh, Kind of like this, you. yeah, okay. Yeah, so try it again. Uh, sorry. Yeah, you can... Right. <laughs> just, yeah, just do, like, a fair in place. Oh, okay, that's... Yeah, yeah. And then just try up tilting after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, it's it's hard can... timing. It's hard timing. Yeah, it's hard timing, but I can't understand what you mean. Yeah, like, yes, you. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Like, try to get two timings out of it. Yeah, you just want to sort of, like, pick an option when you land that doesn't lose to the laser. So you can also do power shield as well. Like, once you land, try and get, like, a crouch power shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. You knew Ooh. that. Um, you can also dash through me as well, which can be pretty good. So you land and then you actually dash forward instead of dashing back. And if I'm trying to, like, hit you back here, you'll go under me. Mm -hmm. And that's especially good if you wish if you whiff in the corner, right? Because then we swap places. Yeah, I can see that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm really bad at pushing forward because, let's say, the dash back is so broken. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's this. like, you know, if you always do it, it's like I know exactly yeah. what to do, right? Um... It's a similar thing versus Fox as well, like, you want to be presenting that threat of, like, dashing forward to go mm. past him, because otherwise they just run at you and, like, overshoot every time. Yeah, um, I can see that. Yeah. Especially with, especially Falco's, uh, we're doing, uh, we're approaching more with there, as, um, yeah, there, yeah. instead of there, it's really hard. Yeah, yeah, uh, but yeah, I'd say those are, like, probably the three things you want to try more, is, like, up till, um, power shield, and dashing forward, like, after you win. Mm. I think there's really especially helpful. in this, and especially in this range, I would say uh, you would say. Yeah, yeah, that range. Just like any time you whiff, like sort of near me, and mm -hmm. and like I'm having to like read what you're doing after. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I really see it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And then, so I think the second part was um, with the neutral when you're dealing with lasers at like this range as well. I think mm -hmm. I'd want you to try and like 
either take the laser and dash forward more, or like shield and then wave dash forward. And they're two good ways of like moving forward and trying to get close to me without the commitment of like a jump, you know? Uh, it doesn't even have to be a power shield, you can just shield it yeah. normally and then move forward. And then we get to mm -hmm. here, and it's like, this is a range where you can actually like hit me out of a laser, right? A bit easier. Um, mm -hmm. And like, if I try and aerial you, that's when you can actually use the dash back. So you sort of like get close and it sort of baits me to trying to hit you. And then you get to, you know, move out of the way, right? Yeah, it's the... Because it, if you're trying to hit me out of lasers from too far, like, if, if you just stand still for it. Mm -hmm. If you try and hit me from here out of lasers, there's just no way, like, there's no way you can, like, just get in and instantly, right? You have to, sure, be, yeah. get, you have to be, get a bit close first, and then you can try and hit me with, like, you know, forward smash or up tilt, side B. Or even, or even, or even fair. Take yeah, yeah, even that. fair, yeah, yeah. But the point is, I, I don't want you to be, like, jumping at me from really far away like this, because it just mm -hmm. yeah, it's, sort of gives... It's just, to commit, it's just to commit, I can't see that. Yeah, yeah, and, and again, like, I think if you were a bit better at, like, faring out of the laser or, like, double jumping or wave landing, like, that would make it a bit less risky. But, um, mm -hmm. even then, I'd say that should be, like, not your main game plan, you know? The... Mm. And then... I think for the the thing you said about the DI, like struggling with people DIing in, I I think mm -hmm. the simple fix for that is just to up air less in your combos and do more other moves like fair or nair or dash attack. Because mm -hmm. uh, because like if I just DI up forever on up airs, right? Eventually you get to the point where you can't really like combo off of it. Do you get what I mean? Or yeah, I get what I uh, I get what you mean. Just uh, get you uh, get you. Off stage earlier, or finish my uh, finish my combo earlier. Like, like with S measure on here. Yeah, yeah. Like what, there was one of the games on Yoshi, so I was like specifically trying to DIM more just to see. And like mm -hmm. you got a lot more like fair into down air or like you know those sorts of combos, right? It was more like horizontal combos yeah, yeah. rather than vertical combos. And I think that's what you want to look for if you feel like they're just DIing in a load. Mm -hmm. Uh. Because if I'm DIing out, then that's when you want to do the up airs more, I feel like. Because I won't go as high up, right? I see, uh, yeah. I never thought about it. I was. I, I would say I, I'm doing it. What is. What it feels right at the, at, at the moment. Yeah. But it's actually true. Up air is better against DI out and not good against DI in. I can really see that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so I think they're the main three things I'd like you to work on. So let's play a couple more games now. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, so just to reiterate, it was like, um, going for more horizontal combos if they're DIing in. Um, making sure you're mixing up what you do after you land. Um, so, you know, we talked about power shield, um, up tilt, and dashing forward. Mm -hmm. um, and doing more like take laser into dash or shield and then wave dash forwards rather than jumping every time. Ju be more on the ground. Yeah, yeah, try and move forward more on the ground without jumping, yeah. Right. Cool. Perfect. Perfect stage for this. Yeah. yeah, see, now you get close, right? And it's a bit harder for me to play around you. Mm -hmm. nice. Lagging right now. Yeah. Yeah, it is a bit. I'm not sure why. There you go. So like I'm dash dancing to play around your jump, so then when you move forward it's like I'm suddenly a bit shocked, right? Like mm -hmm. What do you think about the taunt uh, wave to taunt I, I think it's good if I'm dash dancing, but not if I'm doing a lot of like this, for example. Okay. Yeah, and you can see I'm like you're crouching and then I go over your, your crouch, right? You know? So then that's my sort of answer to that, is that I'll start to do more like aerials to pull you out for moving forward. Mm -hmm. But then that's when you jumping works again really well, because you can outspace me. I see. Okay. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Now try the jumping a bit more and like mixing of what you do after you land. Oh what? <laughs> That's up <laughs> Alright, yeah. um, <laughs> what do you do against Afro on the, uh, on the edge? Afro? Especially at early percent. Afro, um... Like, when, of... when I Afro you? When, when you Afro me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The... Let's get to FD, and we can try it. Um, I think your, like, default should just be to try and get to the ledge. Um, mm -hmm. so, like... Um, like this, or...? If, I, if you go, you go Falco, then I'll go Moth. Oh yeah, true, uh, sorry, um, Paige, let me disconnect first. Oh yeah, I've sure. fucked up. <laughs> That's fine, don't worry. Versus... Falco! That's fine, really matter. But yeah, if you just uh, throw me... Yeah. I would just do something like that. Oh yeah. Like, try it again. Especially with double jump, okay, just be, yeah, just double jump. Just be cautious, double jump, not side being, no up being, just double yeah, jump. Yeah, just, just only double jump, yeah. And you want to make sure you do it quite low, like you can see how I'm sort of spacing it. Mm -hmm. And without parts falling, especially. Yeah, I'll be saying that. But um, yeah, so the only things Falco can do this though, um, if you go back to Moth again. Mm -hmm. Um. Ready? Wait, if you try doing that double jump first, me. Uh, yeah, let's go this side. I can do that. Okay. Which is like a run up and shine. Mm -hmm. Um, well, let's try again. Oh, down air, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You wanna, you wanna drift forward a bit earlier and do the like. Just try double jumping to the ledge first, like quite low. Yeah, a bit low. It obviously changes depending on the percent, like where you yeah, need to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, there you go. And I can, yeah, I can change. Yeah, you can sort of change your drift. Well, you don't yeah. want to get hit by it, like me doing that, for example. Yeah. <laughs> like, you want to get nice and low with it. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, if we go into game again. Uh, if, again, FD or somebody yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, FD's fine. Um, but yeah, so the like I said, the only things I can really do is I can run off shine, which was like this, and I can do run off double jump down it. 
Um, but those two are really risky if you just, like, double jump fair, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, cool. Or if you do any other sort of recovery, then, like, mm -hmm. you might go over me, for example. Um, so, that's why I think your default should just be, uh, double jumping to the ledge, because it's sort of the hardest Farco to cover. Mm -hmm. You can sometimes grab the ledge as well, uh, if you come on stage again. You can sometimes do that, but even but yeah, then, that, it's not, you know. Then we have just a normal edge cut situation, which is way better, I would say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And again, with that one, you can usually snipe me before I get to it as well. Yeah, and I can even do something like that. Dodge. Yeah, yeah. So, so I would just, like, don't panic when you get f thrown. Just try and double jump to the ledge. Mm -hmm. um, it might and even be worth you, like, getting setting a bot to, like, doing a recording of Falco just f throwing you. Oh, good idea, actually. Jumps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do it at, like, different percents as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, what were you going to say? Sorry? No, no, nothing, actually. Okay. Actually, awesome. But double jump, I... It's so simple, but I never thought about it. <laughs> yeah, and especially uh, if you do it, um, it, it doesn't matter that you're clear. Um, if you you can like fast fall just before to send you a little bit lower as well. Mm -hmm. So it can sort of like make your opponent think you're gonna do this sort of double jump, where you sort of drift above the ledge, but then you actually like fast fall. I uh, see. And you can even do stuff like if you double jump and see they're trying to challenge you. You can then fast forward up B, right? Mm -hmm. True. Um, so you so have the a most lot important of options. So the most important thing is not to panic and don't throw a move. Uh, don't throw a move out. Better, better just yeah. jump to the ledge. Or... O only throw the move out when they start to actually come off to contest you. Essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Okay. Let's do. Uh, let's do one more just normal Falcon Moth game. All right. And then we start to wrap up. Mm -hmm. Um. Stupid. Versus Mark. Ready? Go! Nice, that's better. Like, even though it, I got on your shield, it's still not you just getting shot immediately, right? Mm hmm. True. It's like you're, you're still getting hit in those spots, but it's because I'm winning like two mix ups there, right, instead of one. So you're making it yeah, a lot I... harder for me. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. I'm feeling also way better. It doesn't feel. As... Yeah, you it's feel like, like you have more. Much way more better you now. Can do. Yeah, 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 like more control over what's happening. <laughs> Maybe. 